Today, we'll learn about what it means to have peace amidst the chaos in our lives. People always ask me what it means to live an abundant life, since I mention it so often. Does it involve nice cars, comfortable homes, and flashy clothes? It can, but the idea of godly abundance isn't hinged on those material things. I think of abundance as having peace amidst all circumstances. And peace is not the absence of chaos. Peace is the presence of God amidst the chaos. People know of Los Angeles as being sunny all year round. But what happens when the temperatures drop, the clouds roll in, and claps of thunder tyrannize the skies all week? Society might say that in order to bring yourself peace, you'll have to escape the thunder and lightning. Perhaps book a flight somewhere warmer to forget about your worries here in LA. Perhaps medicate yourself to forget about the pain. The world says that the farther you get away from your problems, the more at peace you will be. But many of us can't afford to just escape the storm. The same goes for the storms of life. Sometimes, there's just no other way than to go through the sorrows and chaos. Sometimes, God doesn't calm the storms for us, but He walks with us through it. He becomes our peace, and the peace that He provides allows us to be comforted right in the middle of the storm. Jesus once said, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace that I give is a gift the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. This is the peace that surpasses all understanding. It's so counterintuitive that the world can't comprehend it. Peace, by definition, is freedom from disturbance or a state in which there is no war or a war has ended. How can one have freedom from disturbance right in the middle of the disturbance? And how can one live as though a war has ended when one is suffering gravely from the ongoing war? Well, the peace that God gives carries with it a freedom so liberating that it leaves no room left in one's mind and heart to worry about the disturbance. The state of your soul becomes so flooded by God's peace that the disturbance becomes a mere itch to be scratched rather than a surgery to be had. And through this peace, you will have clarity of mind, suddenly remembering that through Christ, you have already won the victory. You can indeed live as though the war has ended. You can leave all the fighting to God alone. You need only to be still and see how His victory unfolds. I want to speak this reassurance over you today. No matter what storms of life you're going through, you can find peace right where you're at. You don't need the storm to go away to have peace because God doesn't give as the world gives. I don't know what religion you subscribe to or whether you even believe in a God, but I just want to tell you that Christianity is not a set of rules. It's not a religious system based on merit. That means that no matter what wrong you've done in the past, what you're doing in the present, or what you will do in the future, God is willing to forgive all of it and give you peace and hope. You did not receive chaos because you deserved chaos. This is a broken world where bad things happen to both good and bad people, regardless of what they deserve. But you're not left to fend for yourself. Through Christ, God has promised to give you His very own spirit, the embodiment of peace itself. So much of the world blames the storms of life or the brokenness and turmoil on God, but He is so deeply misunderstood. God is a good Father. He's not evil. And God showed His great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. That means you don't have to get your life together before you become deserving of God's peace, love, and comfort. 
You don't ever need to be perfect for him to give you his presence. What kind of a father would he be if he demanded your perfection before he decides to embrace you? No, the God that I serve is a good and nurturing father. His arms are always wide open, ready to embrace his children whenever they cry to him for help. So if you're in the eye of a storm, don't give up. Don't escape by self-intoxication. Don't cover up your pain and pretend it's not there. Let it all out to God. Cry to Him and let yourself be embraced by your Heavenly Father because He cares for you. And from that, you'll experience the peace that transcends all understanding. I hope you enjoyed this snippet of my guided meditation series called The Abundant Life. To access all 30 of my guided meditation videos, sign up at girlandtheword.com slash theabundantlife.